Hello everyone, this is your instructor Farwa Batool and welcome to the course of O-Level Computer Science. Okay, so we were doing the conversions of hexadecimals. Now, in this video, we will see that how you can convert a positive binary integer into a hexadecimal, right? So let's start it. Okay, you all know at this stage that what is a binary integer? Any number that is in the form of zero, and 1 is called a binary integer, right? And what is a hexadecimal number? A hexadecimal number is a is one that is in the form of or that is in these particular 16 digits, 0 to 9 and A to F, right? These 16 digits are used in order to represent any of the hexadecimal number. Okay, now what is required over here for this conversion? this conversion table yes this is the most important thing for this topic this conversion table basically tells you that what a hexadecimal digit represents in form of binary like what is the value of 2 in form of binary that is 0010 okay if i say that i have given you 8 in hexadecimal number system then what is the value of 8 in a binary number system, right? So you will see this table and you will tell me that 8 is equals to 1000 in form of binary, right? So this is the conversion table that is required over here in order to do these, this conversion, right? And uh, again, you will say or you can pop up a question that why we need four bits over here in order to represent each of the 16 uh, hexadecimal digit in its binary form. Why four bits? So uh, again, I am going to explain it. I have already explained it in my previous video when I have done the conversion of hexadecimal into a binary, but I can explain you again uh, using the formula 2 raised to the power n equals to what? equals to these 16 digits, right? Since I have 16, so that's why I am using the formula 2 raised to the power n that must be equal to this 16, right? What needs to be the value of n? n? n here is representing the number of bits that are required to represent 16 distinct hexadecimal digits, right? So this n needs to be 4 in order to be equal to 16. Right, so that's why we say that we require four binary numbers, binary four binary values in order to represent these 16 digits, right? So that is why we have used the combination of four bits to represent these 16 hexadecimal digits. Okay, now moving towards examples, right? We will see different examples to of conversion. And in that, I am going to use this table so you can better understand how we can convert it, right? So moving towards my first example. Okay, so here we go. This is my example number one. I have a binary integer and I need to convert it into a hexadecimal one, right? So this is very, very simple. What I need to do, just write this binary number like this, 1011. 0, 0, 1, 0. The very first step that you need to do is just make the groups of four bits, right? And you need to start it from your right. Now, moving towards my left and making the groups of four bits like this. This is my group number one. Moving towards my left, this is my group number two. Since I have 8 bits, so I have uh, made two groups of binary numbers. Each carries four bits over here, right? This four, four bits is important in each group, right? You must make a group of four bits. Okay, now what is next? Very simple. You just need to find the value of 0010 in this table that is equal to the hexadecimal number, right? So where is 0010? Here I have this binary number that is 0010. And in the hexadecimal number, what it represents? It represents 2, right? So I will write a 
2 over here for this 0 0 1 0 again for the next group I have 1 0 1 1 where is this 1 0 1 1 here it is 1 0 1 1 and in the table it is equal to B right it represents B in a hexadecimal number so I will write it a B over here so it is that much simple you just need to make groups of four bits starting from your right and moving towards left and secondly you need to find out the values the hexadecimal values of each group okay so this is how we have converted uh, this binary number into a hexadecimal so my answer would be b2 right Okay, now moving towards another example where, uh, so that uh, it will be more clear to you, right? Okay, so here we go. This is my example number two. Okay, I have six binary digits over here and I need to convert it into hexadecimal. What I need to do, just write it out as 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Now, what is my second step? I need to make the groups of eight groups of four bits, right? Starting from my right. This is my group number one, that is zero, one, one, one. Okay, my second group includes only two bits, but I have already mentioned that my group needs to be of four bits, right? At least I need four binary bits to make a group. So, don't panic, you just need to add zeros for the remaining bits. How many bits are remaining over here? Two. So I will be adding two zeros over here because zero means nothing, right? Uh, it will not change the number. So that's why if you don't have enough binary bits to make a group of four, then you can add zeros to your left. Okay, so this is how we have completed the two groups. This is my group number one, this is two. Again, the second step would be just find out the values of these binary groups in terms of hexadecimal. So that is zero, one, one, one. I will see the table here it is zero, one, 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 and that is equal to seven in a hexadecimal number system, right? So here I have seven, and what is this? One, zero, zero, zero. So in my table, here it is, right? Zero, 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 one, and that is equal to this one in hexadecimal number. So this is the required hexadecimal number. My answer here would be one, seven. Right. So in this example, we have seen that if we are missing with some of the bits that are uh, required in order to complete a group of four bits. So what we need to do, we just need to add zeros at the place of that. OK, so uh, I am just sharing another example of 16 binary bits so that it will be more clear to you. Right. Okay, so here we go. This is a big binary number of 16 bits, right? So what I need to do over here, I just need to convert it into a hexadecimal number. It is very simple. Just do the following steps that I have already mentioned, right? I am going to write this number as, one. okay, I'm not writing it again. I'm just making the groups starting from my right. One, two, three, Four. These are my four groups and for each group I need to find the value in the table 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 equals to 5 1 1 1 1 that is equals to F 0 1 1 1 mm, Here it is 0 1 1 1 that is 7 and 1 0 0 0 that is 8 so this is the required hexadecimal number that is 87F5. Okay, I can write an H over here. This H is nothing but a pref prefix in order to represent that this is a hexadecimal number, right? You can write an H over here or 
it is not compulsory it is just used as a prefix okay so thank you so much uh, for watching this video i hope this topic is clear to you in the upcoming videos we will see the different examples of hexadecimal number system how we are incorporating it into different examples like in ascii or in um, uh, color codes in html or in machine language and assembly language so these will be very important for you because uh, in your exams uh, you will probably see questions uh, like these okay including these topics so please watch those videos as well so that you will be more clear uh, about hexadecimal number system right so thank you so much for watching it please share subscribe and like these videos and share it with your friends with your with other students so that we can help each other thank you so much uh, for watching it and see you in the next video take care